show it off. It used to be called uh, the Invisible Republic by Grail Marcus. Now it's Old Weird America. And it deals with Smith, the anthology. Um, pretty much the whole book is about Smith's anthology. But it, as it relates to Dylan's basement tapes with the band. And just using the basement tapes as, um, I guess you'd say, a reincarnation or some sort of um, uh, attempt to um, get back to some purity in music is what they did. And it was because of Smith's contribution um, that made you know, Dylan kind of um, reconsider you know, what music is supposed to be. You know, is, it, um, is it supposed to be didactic? I don't believe so. I don't believe that artists really have a, a role to do like that. We're not, um, you know, we're not um, politicians. <laughs> We're, we're artists, you know, so when he turned away from being um, the spokesperson for someone else's cause, you know, the puppet for someone else's ideas, he became an artist for us, uh, Dylan did, you know. Um, but the reason Dylan, in large part, understood that he needed to do that was because of the anthology. Even those basic songs, you know, it could be about a bird or a dog, but symbolically and metaphorically, it really means so much more. And Smith was un knew this instinctively. He knew that um, by reminding America of this lost period that we had forgotten, you know, at that time in 52, um, it was just 20 years earlier that these guys wa were performing this music and many, many other people were doing the same that were never recorded. Um, and at that time, when he put it out, you know, at the height of the McCarthy era, um, at the end of, out of the Depression, out of World War II, America had been completely wiped clean of this originality, you know. Everybody went to the city, uh, the rural music disappeared, they stopped